Good morning. It is uh, March 1st, 2021. Welcome to This Week at EPL. Good morning. Let's get right into it. Yeah, uh, COVID vaccines are now open to 60 up. So if you are interested in that, be sure to check out the indiana.gov's website or call us at the library, call 211. There are multiple ways to get signed up, but we can help you sign up here at the library. Give us a call and we'll, we'll get that ready to go. Indeed, we will. Um, uh, some of the things that we have that, are, uh, that have to do with our collection and such like that, uh, we have some new items that are coming in. I do want to mention, don't forget, we do still have our usual assortment of board games, video games, uh, movies. Uh, we're a growing collection on Blu-ray as well. Uh, albums, of course, and that's vinyl albums in addition to CDs. Uh, but the Library of Things, I wanted to mention that again. Anything that you see up in the upper level with those... Um, uh, in the cases and such and things that are below you can always ask about as well things that you can see on the tv uh, you can always request those and uh, have those checked out to you for a length of time which and, i think is pretty cool and there's also a little paper underneath the tv up there that has the full list of items so even things that you won't see up there like a metal detector telescope things like that that are able to be checked out that's pretty cool so uh, some of those new nonfiction items that we have, uh, can you tell us something about some of those? Yes, we are, we're constantly getting new items in. Our collection development specialists are continuing to do an awesome job. Um, a couple we want to highlight were um, the first one, From Hang Time to Prime Time, Business Entertainment and the Birth of the Modern Day NBA. This vivid, thoroughly entertaining, and well-researched book explores the NBA's surge in popularity in the 70s and 80s and its transformation into a global cultural institution. Um, it kind of plays into my favorite documentary I saw this year, certainly The Last Dance, which is also available in Evergreen. You can rant about the 90s Bulls, despite my <laughs> hatred of them at being a Pacers fan. Sad. Um, another one is called Cook Anime, Eat Like Your Favorite Character, from Bento to Okonomiyaki. Embark on a foodie's journey through the world of anime and learn to recreate delicious dishes from your favorite series with this practical guide to anime food. Cool. And then uh, this, oh, this way. Um, Trejo's Tacos, Recipes and Stories from L.A. Uh, so this is Danny Trejo. Throughout Danny's life, uh, sharing good food has always been essential, whether it was home-cooked meals made by his mom while imagining the menu for their dream restaurant or whipping up post-wrap celebratory tacos for his Hollywood friends. Uh, now with his own restaurant, Empire Growing, Danny shares his uh, favorite recipes for bold, fun, and versatile Mexican food by way of L.A. Yeah. Nice. Sounds interesting. Yeah. So one of the things we've got coming up as well, something a little bit different. Um, uh, actually, not a little bit different, but uh, helping people get out and kind of enjoy things as well. Uh, we're going to be going back to First Fridays again. Uh, and for more on that, we've got, uh, we've got me. More. Ah, yes, thank you. Thank you, Zach and me. Uh, I'm here to let you know about First Fridays. The first First Friday uh, will be this uh, Friday, March 5th. Uh, join us downtown Auburn for each first Friday of the month for late night shopping, family friendly activities, live entertainment, homegrown culinary delights, delights local crafted beverages, and much, much more. Shop, explore, taste. Uh, this month will highlight National Reading Month. Uh, and we'll have our own Jenny Kobiel Mondor with the story available on our Facebook page and YouTube channel uh, during this event. And also during this time, we explore you to sh uh, encourage you to shop, explore, and taste what Auburn has while social distancing. Hashtag spend local safely by ordering online, uh, utilizing curbside service, buy a gift card, shop over the phone, leave a positive review, and utilize local, local delivery. Uh, 5 to 7 p.m. selfies at any of the three Auburn Main Street murals like this one. Uh, please observe social distancing and use hashtag we love Auburn in your photos. Uh, also, Haunted Tours, 6 to 8 p.m., meet at the 9th Street Brew Coffee House for some spooky stories about Auburn. Bundle up for this outside tour. Also, participating uh, will be, oh gosh, some probably 20, 20 businesses that I won't read off here right now. Uh, but again, check it out. Now back to me. <sighs> Thanks, me. I appreciate that. Clearly, reality is not what it seems. I don't understand. <laughs> well, what else we've got? Um, 
friends of the Eckhart Public Library. Uh, we do have people that are asking about the um, the Friends of the Library uh, book sale, and that is uh, so far a go for March 13th, as I think I've heard. That day there are also going to be shredding services from 9 until 11 a.m. So that's kind of the, our usual thing to have the shredding services during the book sale, um, separate of the book sale. Uh, come in, have stuff shredded. You can watch it being shredded, which is pretty cool. We'll mention that again next Monday, but just to let you know that's going on. Let's see. Uh, there is the uh, annual meet or the monthly meeting coming up, or annual meeting. Sorry, the friends. I should just read what I have here. The friends of Eckhart Public Library will be holding their annual meeting on Tuesday, March sixteenth, twenty twenty one, via Zoom. Uh, the meeting will involve the proposed slate of new officers for the friends board. The friends gave the library eleven thousand five hundred dollars to use uh, from August twenty twenty to July twenty twenty one. Uh, this generous gen generous donation is from membership dues and fundraisers and supports a huge range of programs and services at Eckhart Public Library. Uh, to attend the meeting, uh, the information can be found on our Facebook page um, and likely other areas as well. Uh, there is the meeting ID. Uh, I guess you can come back and listen to this. The meeting ID is 8237935419 and the passcode is 183962. I know you, I can remember that. You should just either... Um, find the event on Facebook. Yeah, we'll post the link. Yes. It'll be easy. It will. Easier. Um, this last week we went down to the Indiana Department of Transportation for our Learning with Steam program to learn about how Indiana takes care of the roads and, and snow and ice during, during the last four months of northern Indiana. Um, it was really interesting, really incredible, and that video is on our Facebook page as well. This week, we went down to um, Art This Way in Fort Wayne, talked to Alex Hall, who um, works with the Downtown Improvement District in Fort Wayne and is a public art consultant. Her art also appears in the Garrett Museum of Art that we saw for one of our STEAM videos last fall. Is it still there? Do you know? I believe it's still there. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, we looked at about almost a dozen murals downtown in a Fort Wayne tour that you can go through. Really incredible stuff international artists, artists from Fort Wayne, up to and beyond uh, 1,200 square feet. Really incredible stuff. So that's going to be available Wednesday about uh, 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, just to focus on some other things as well, we've got our usual assortment of story times. Um, there are two on Wednesdays uh, going live, uh, not live, but um, uh, being posted at 10 a.m. and then also going live on Zoom. The uh, live story time is at 11 a.m. Uh, again, you'll have to find a link to go to Zoom there. I don't have that one to give you here. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, the um, Grimm's Fairy Tales uh, Reimagined is posted every Sunday at 10 a.m. So look for that on, again, both Facebook and YouTube. Uh, Cooking Across America, you got that. That's your thing yep, that yep. you're recording? Fridays at 6. Last Friday was um, Dessert Tamales, Tamales de Dulce. And it tasted really good. It was a really good treat. Um, this week, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but we'll be posting that Friday at 6 p.m. Long story short, we've got a lot of programs, videos, new collections, new items, and ways to access materials here at the library. So feel free to give us a call if you need to sign up for the vaccine, need tax forms, looking for new materials, want to get curbside deliveries, anything like that. And uh, other than that, is there anything... Else, now that we've entered March, finally. <laughs> March, it is. It's March. Uh, is it is it first March or second March? Uh, I don't know. What about second March? <laughs> uh, it's it, there's always like the five Januarys, you know, ten February. Right, right, right. Um, first March, I think we'll get our way through this one. Yes, first. we'll work on this one first. Um, anything, anything that you want to wrap up with? Um, the only thing I'm kind of looking forward to is, too, is March Madness is starting on March 18th. I just recently found out that it's all happening in Indianapolis. I didn't know that. The whole tournament's happening in Indy down at, like, Hinkle Fieldhouse and Lucas Oil. So hopefully that'll mm -hmm. be safe and also enjoyable because I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Speaking of that as well, we're going to have a recorded program coming up with uh, Barb Morrow. Um, and her about talking about her book of um, uh, Coach John Wooden. Uh, so that should be coming up uh, before too long. So keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, get some sun if you can. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you later.